Listen, I'm on the side of the road, half drunk, just left the club, changing my tire when the police pull up on me. This cop gets out and offers me help. But like I just told you, I'm half drunk, so I refuse to turn around and talk to him. I'm like, no, sir, I'm good, I got this, but he's there trying to help me, shining his flashlight down on the ground as I change the tire. We're there for another two, three minutes when I hear the sound coming from the opposite side of the car in the woods. I'm sauced up, so I'm not even trying to look at this man. That's when he takes that flashlight off the ground and starts shining it in the woods. In the meantime, I have all the lug nuts on. I'm ready to get back in the car, so I stand up just to tell him thank you. And when I look into this man's face, he looks like he is having a heart attack. His skin is flush red. His eyes are wide open. He's sweating, and he says, sir, get back in your vehicle and go. Imagine the scene, one black dude on the side of the road, a white cop, my hand is extended. He has the flashlight still shining in the woods. He is not looking at me, he is looking past me. And when I turn around and look into those woods, I see this gigantic wolf head literally the size of my chest. The officer starts to push me saying, sir, please get back in your vehicle and go. Then takes off running to his vehicle, hops in and pulls off before I do. Now, when I get back home and I'm sitting on the sofa, I'm playing everything back through my mind and I realized that this cop had seen that thing and had been standing there with the flashlight shining on it the entire time. In fact, when I stood up to shake his hand, I'm pretty sure the reason why he didn't shake my hand is because he had his other hand on his gun. Talk about protecting and serving. I was freaking flabbergasted. The next day, I head to the police station and bring a king cake looking for that officer. The problem was, I didn't know his name, I didn't know his badge number, I didn't even know his car number. So I walk into the police station with a king cake, and I just tell the front desk officer, hey, one of the officers from this area last night helped me out when I was on the side of the road, and I wanted to come by and tell him thank you. Understand, a black dude walking to a police station telling the cops thank you is literally like an alien walking in downtown Manhattan. Everybody's looking at me like I got two freaking heads. But I leave the cake for him anyway. Because I know, understand, and realize exactly what the hell this man did. Listen, I can't tell you if he even knew I stopped by. I don't know if that man got a slice of that cake. But what I'm going to say to you is this. I'm pretty certain that had he left me there, I probably would have been Dogman's dinner.